Yes, guys, another one with BBA. Just bumped into a UK transparency today. So I'm gonna have a little wander around, I think. See what goes on. But respect. So yes, guys, level with BBA. Just uh, bumped into UK transparency here. Um, so getting some shots. What's going on? Have you got a minute to answer a few questions? Not really. Come on. Come on, guys. Give us, give us, answer a few questions for us. There we are, guys. I don't want to answer no questions. I had uh, here, guys. Right here. I've got. If you just bear with me. I've actually got here, I don't know if you can see that, West Midlands Police branded worst force in the country in survey of residents. And then all the bits in red are the bits that I really want to get them to see if they'll uh, give some questions on. So, as you just see there, they weren't willing to answer any questions. They just quickly got in the car and scurried off. So I put them to, to be viewed as the worst uh, force in the, in the country by, by, the, by the public. So yeah. Told me. Well, there we are. And that's why I think they have been rated the worst force in the country by the public. Because uh, they just don't in want to engage with the public whatsoever. Yes. It's a shame, really. Got a thing here. What's going on? You alright, my love? Yeah, yeah. yeah, good, thank you. No. Not bad, not bad. Good. Do, do you want to do me a favour? You'll make all my viewers really, really happy if you do. Can you give me a big up, live free? So all you got to do is say big up, live free. Big up, live free. Big up, live free. Big up, big up, live free. Yeah, Yay. big up, girl. Hey, thank you very much. It's not good on the telly, is it? No, uh, maybe not. It might go on um it might go on my channel that I've got. But it'll shine you in a great light because usually we don't get interactions, so everyone will love that. So guys, there we are. Got a big up live free, first one today. She asked me is it going on the telly? I said it might be. So guys I'm gonna drop it there and if I get anything I'll pick it back up. Yes guys, so today you're here with BBA and we're here at uh, WHG Housing Association. It's quite a big building, so I just thought we'd have a little look around it or as far as we can. They do cover quite a big area, uh, Warsing, Warsaw Housing Group. So I'll pick it back up in a second once I've crossed this mad road. So these are the main doors. Go around this way. With UK Transparency today. Not long, just met up with him, so didn't mean to. We just bumped into one another, both had our gimbals out, so cheese. But yeah, there's WHG Warsaw Housing Group um, building. I believe you can't just walk in there, and that you do actually need to make an appointment, although I could be wrong. Okay, it's quite nice around here though, isn't it? This is definitely quite nice around here. Like I could say guys, it is a big building. But yeah, I actually used to uh, do the grounds maintenance here. I used to cut all this grass here and cut all these shrub beds. 
for this exact housing association. I must be in remembrance of somebody. God bless them. But, yeah, it's a big old building. You wouldn't want to be the window cleaner around here, would you? That's a lot of um, windows. But yeah, just thought we'd have a little look round. Come on, lads. These shrubs ain't great, are they? As far as WHG let you get away with that. I remember they used to give us grillings if it didn't look A-spec. It's a big old building, for sure. Sounds like we've got some police activity. Don't know where they're going. Let's have a little walk around. What's going on? I don't know where UK transparency has gone. Again, pick this back up round the front. Here we are, back round the front. Hundred Hutherton Street. Let's go see if we can find UK transparency. See, you can get in that way. It's a nice old building, this. So they're currently looking at, through the window at me, wondering what I'm doing. I am only just getting some thing of the building. As I say, it's quite nice around here. It's looked after quite well. But yeah, as I say, this is quite a big um, building that deals with um, housing around the Warsaw area. 
So it's quite a good place. What are you doing? Um, making a video. For? Um, public interest. This is private property. Yes, it's, uh, it's not private. I can come on here. It's this, now, it is private no, property. Section 33 is it private of the Criminal property? Justice Act, you're, 1972. You're filming through the window. I'm not filming through the window. I'm, I'm just, stood over here. I'm just witness you filming I'm through the window. Which is all right. I'm in a Point, public place. Now, pointing in a window is not legal. Yeah, I think you'll find no, it is, mate. I think you'll find isn't. it is. You'll find it isn't. I think you'll find I do a lot of this and it is actually legal, mate. Outside the building, yes, I can understand. But filming through a window is yeah, not Yeah, from legal. a public place. And I wasn't right up against the window either, sir. You were filming in a window. No, I wasn't, sir. I was stood over we there, sir. I was stood just CCTV there. That, uh, you have your own what, sorry? We have our own CCTV system. Yeah. And that, and we know it is not Sorry, can legal. I get your name? It is not legal. Because who, who are you? It is not anyway. legal to film through windows. I wasn't filming through a window, sir. You was pointing at the window. I can do what I want. What I'll go saying. do it again now. I'm allowed. I can do what I want. If I want to go stand here and record, I can. It's, it's, I'm all within my rights to do so. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Public areas, yes. I'm in a public area. I'm in a public area, sir. But you're filming through the window. From a public area. Go, go, go and you need to go look up. You need to go up, look up Pinnock. Laws, sir. I have done. And well, you're wrong then, sir. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, sir. The film and also, do you know what you shouldn't have? What you shouldn't have is actually computers that are facing out into a public place because that's actually breaching GDPR rules. And by so, filming it, so I could actually now, I could actually it, now report you for that because if you see it, there, guys, GDPR can you pop, rules. stop putting your hands in? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not. By break, I'm by, not duty bound for that. I'm a member of the public, sir. It doesn't work like that. Filming, doesn't yes, work like that. Yes, no, it are. doesn't. Please leave the area. I'm getting a look at the building. Please Once I've got a couple area. of shots of the building, sir, I shall go. Please leave the area. Stop filming through the windows. I'm That's not filming right. through the windows. Obviously, you are. You if you didn't have you you, you, most them. of your building's windows, sir, it's a bit impossible, like you're, not you're to. Filming. That's the difference. And Walking I'm filming from a distance. I'm filming from a distance. Walking I could go straight up to the window, but I won't because that would obviously stop, be violating stop. people's please privacy. Stop through the windows. No. Just please stop filming. No, I'm allowed to film here, sir. Sorry, but you need to go and check up your laws that you're throwing out. You, you need to go get your facts right, sir. Sorry, but you're wrong. And like I say, I would turn that computer around because that's breaching GDPR. You're breaching GDPR by having that computer screen facing out into the public. Please leave the area. You've been asked to leave private property. It's not private property, sir. Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act, 1972, allows me to be here. Get your facts right, sir. So, I didn't, wasn't expecting really to get any kind of response here, if I'm honest. But now I'm just going to film because I can. Um... As I say, it's telling me what I can and can't do. Yes, sir. No, bro, honestly, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'll go around. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972 allows me, there's no barriers, there's no barriers that stops me coming in. I've to you. Okay. To me. Okay, no problem. Okay. We're not a public space, okay? The police have got lords to do. I do not want to waste the police time. Can we you can't ring the police. You'd be wasting the police's time to call them. He's saying that I'm coming up to windows, recording through windows, no, sir. I was stood just there. Bro, you don't you don't know what you're on about. That's and you're very rude getting in my face, oh. putting your hand in my face. You came and stood in front of a camera and then I got filmed. I wasn't filming you till you come and stood in front of this camera. Um, so basically, for public interest, I go around and I film public buildings. Anything that may be, I know obviously WHG is a private uh, housing association, but it deals with public housing. So all it was was coming around, doing a little story, saying about how, um, how you cover quite a big area of Warsaw, how I used to actually work for a company that was subcontracted, where we used to do the ground maintenance for you guys. Uh, it was just basically a little video, nothing more, nothing less. Okay. Um, and then this guy come out mm -hmm. saying that I was recording through your windows. I was stood there, sir. Yes, and if you, you say you're going to check your CCTV, which I'm sure you can, it will see that I was stood there, not at a window. Okay. Excellent. 
So this is all a bit too much. This is private property density. But sir, if this it's private, where it's not got public access, then there should be barriers all along here. There's a world of difference between a public right of way and a public place. This is right, okay, so this is a public right of way then? That's right, it is. We okay, so... Right to pass backwards and forwards along it, not to stop and film. This is private property. You don't have our permission. From a public place, I can film. No, you're not in a yes, public I. Place. I've just okay, so if I go stand on that pavement there, I can film your building. Yes. Simple subject as that. To, subject to the breach of privacy. Breach of. You're actually yeah. breaching privacy yeah. because over here, over here, you've got um, computer screens facing out into the public. Right. That's you breaching GDPR. Okay. So don't well, talk to me about don't talk to me respect, about privacy and stuff when I'm not breaching no privacy. When it comes to GDPR. Pardon? What are your qualifications? What do you mean? What's, what, what do I need qualifications for GDPR You're for? Trying to lecture me on GDPR. I'm trying to tell you that that is that Actually, would be that right. No if I see personal details on there, would that be a breach of GDPR? Would it? What I'm asking you a question. I haven't details? seen any. I'm exactly. saying if I went up to that window, which I'd be all within my rights to do, I could then possibly, potentially, see somebody's details, correct? No. No? no. You're going to say that, aren't yeah. you? Because you don't want to be in breach because of GDPR. I'm, because I've checked. Because I'm one of the officers responsible for compliance with GDPR. Okay. So, so this is a bit crazy. Like, all these people out just because I was doing a bit of filming. We're just questioning. I know, no, I get that. I get that, bro. That's it. I get that. I get that, bro. Are members of the public lawfully responsible for GDPR? Or are our corporations data controllers and data processes of what's the corporations that now, if you happen to be a data controller or data processor, such as taking that data there, that means you then become subject to GDPR. No, that's incorrect. Wrong. Incorrect. Wrong. Incorrect. Right, your qualifications are? None of your business, sir. I don't, right. I, we don't answer questions. Well, I'm telling you you're incorrect I'm because you I'm qualified to give you that. Advice. Okay, well, I don't need your advice, even though... Um, it's very much appreciated. I don't need that right now. The next thing is, do you understand, gentlemen, that pointing cameras in people's faces... I'm not pointing it in your face. You just came I out to me. I see it in my face. Well, yeah, it's not in your face. Did, come out? did we come to you or did you come to You're us, sir? You're on private property. Did you come to us You're or no did we come to you, sir? The public right did we come to you or did you come property. to us, sir? You're on okay, I'm going to go stand up on... I'm going to go stand up on the public property then and then... No, that's not public. No, no, up here is. Up here on the path is. Yes. Right, so I ain't talking to these sausages any longer. They can call the police because they're acting really silly now. <laughs> acting really fucking silly. Two gentlemen. Two gentlemen. Right, so I'm going to go and stand on a public right away. This is actually all public, look, as you can see, but obviously, look, he thinks he's really funny. It's the best bit of action he's had in months. Because his missus clearly ain't giving in none. So, there we are with that one. So now, guys, I am on. <laughs> this is what's going to crack me up. So there we are. I'm now stood on the public pavement. Let's have a look at the car park. Do you know the guy with the phone right now? He's actually nice. But I think he's uh, just doing as he's told. He's actually on the phone to the police as we speak. So, not too sure what that's about. So, as I say, it's quite a big building, WHG, where everything's private, 100 Haverton Street, there we are, I think I'm not going to film the building. Just wondering how long it's going to take for the police to educate them that I'm allowed to be here. 
What do you think? Oh. Do you think they're going to be educated on the phone as to why we're hit, like we're yeah. allowed to be here? Know, you. Do you think they're going to be told to go away? Sir, yeah. don't approach the camera if you don't want to be on it. Is there a reason why you're har harassing us now we're on public property, sir? I'm not harassing you. I'm simply coming over for a very short conversation to say, you can see who I am. I have no idea who you are. Do you have why? to share your identities with me? Why would I want to share my identity? Law, you don't. However, the fact that you refuse to is causing me harassment, alarm, and distress. Are you being serious? <laughs> I have no idea. Good, good luck with Court, sir. I, have I wish you all, all, all luck in the world. I have with, no uh, idea how often you've been in court. And do you, know, you do know that trespassing is also a civil claim anyway, so the police can't actually remove us. Are you seriously going to carry on trying to lecture me about the law? Well, am I, am I seriously? Lecture, mate, I do this. I do this kind now of stuff. Now you're committing talk of defamation. Well, you're, I you're obviously not, not exactly like cleared up yourself, are you, sir? So you need, you need brushing up in some, in some areas, shall we say? Let's say not at all. Now, if you're not prepared to give me your name... I don't have to. Assume, no, you don't Can, have I to Can I have your name? Can I have your name? You see my badge. What authority do you, uh, have you got to demand names, sir? Get off in your private property. <laughs> <laughs> well, Look, my foot was there and he told me to get off. Get off. You're just a member of public. Go away, sir. And anyway, you're actually approaching me, so I feel like I'm under harass, alarm, and distress right now, sir. You've just approached me. You look familiar, though. I can look as familiar as you want, as you want me to. Have you been in the Crown Court? Yes, again. Has he been in the Crown Court? Yeah, We're not criminals, a, bro. Well, this is what I, I'm trying to work out where I know the face. Is, isn't that defamation, sir, when you're trying to make out well, I'm a, a criminal? No, We're not criminals, bro. We're um, freelance journalists. Freelance Social journalists. media journalists, actually. You, you don't need an NUJ in this country. Do you need one in this country? Everyone has the right to freedom of press in this country. The right to freedom of press. No, I don't think it is, sir. Don't think it is. Press passes, sir. North Korea. Maybe you'd be more comfortable living out of there. You didn't ask me for a press pass, I asked if you've got an NUJ identity card. Do you, do you need that to be a media outlet? Are you now claiming to be a media outlet? Well, is it that the sort of No, no, are you now claiming to be a media outlet? This guy's funny, man. Gabri Gabriel information. Everyone, big this guy up. He's funny. You think? Why are you? Are you like a judge or something? Do you, are you a judge? Is that, has that got anything to do with I you? think this guy's like a judge. On the card, you'll be able to see. I can't actually. Right. Our legal services manager. Oh, here we go. Here, guys, we're really getting tested now. Can legal you services manager. Was it me in the building? No, just the building, not you. I had well, no interest in you. The camera's pointing at me, sir. It is now because you're out in front of you with the camera. So, so, you've come out so, harassing members of so the public. Like you public so, question, so if you'd like to leave me alone place. when I'm on a public place, you've asked me to leave, I have done. Turn the camera off and I will. Absolutely. You don't have to. I'm a, I've got every right to roll this camera everywhere I want you if I like to. Your right, your so why would I to listen to your you dictations? Apart from on private so, property. And I'm now not on private property. I'm would you care to window. share with me why it is you're filming? I said for, I've already said I'm not explaining again. I have already been asked by one of your colleagues, yeah, so I I've told them. That well, that's, that's, that's not my problem. I've already told them. Gentlemen, just so you know, for your purpose of your cameras, I have called the police and I've reported it as trespassing. So if you do come back, we will be providing. No, I know that, bro. That's yeah, fine. But again, it is a civil matter trespass. But I appreciate that's what you've fine. got to I'm do anyway. You know. No, I know, mate. You've been sound. You haven't been rude in any way. No, I know, bro. Your respect, brother. He just got told he's off. See you later, mate. <laughs> Here we got UK transparency. Look, we only actually uh, not long just bumped into each other by accident, um, and I was like, "Oh, I need to get an audit in." So I thought I'd audit this building. Didn't think I'd get any response because I, oh, I didn't think I'd be doing anything wrong. And uh, it turns out I am, <laughs> apparently. But yeah, apparently the police are coming. So I'm going to wait and see if they come. If not, we're going to leave that there. This is WHG, Warsaw Housing Group in Warsaw. Uh, and they are a housing association. So, guys, they're not very good. Um, they're not a very good housing association either, which is why they don't like people here. 
they have a lot to hide WHG. I might actually start doing some stories and covering quite a bit, maybe trying to get in touch with local residents that um, are under WHG Housing Association and um, yeah, try and find out a little bit more about them and what they are about and uh, if there's much corruption in there, I believe there is. But guys, I'm going to leave it here and um, yeah, peace out. Right guys, so I've waited around a little while. A police van did drive past but didn't stop so I don't, oh actually police are here now. Police are here. We're gonna walk round. We're gonna let them be clueless. So we know they're clueless. But I'll pick this up back round the other way. So guys, we're back round the front, and the uh, there's one officer just turned up. He's in there now as we speak. So again, I'm gonna stand on public path and um, I'm going to finish my video we got one sat in the car look So one sat in the car while the other one's probably gone in to educate them, or at least hope educate them anyway. So there's not this um, understand misunderstanding again. Um, he doesn't want to get out of the car. See, see if he wants to talk. Hang on. Bro! He's recording me. I don't know why it's recording before. Whoa, man. Jesus. This is too much. I only come here to do a little video. Wow. Now we've got two cars here. He's recording me and I don't know why. Not that I mind. He can record me if he wants. I just want to know, is that your per is his, his personal phone? Sir! Sir! Sir, is that your personal phone? Is that a work phone? Is that phone a work phone? Why don't you just get out of the car and talk to me, fuck's sake. An absolute joke. Taking pictures of me. I wonder if it's his work phone. Wants to be. Again, we are stood on public property. He don't want to engage with me, so I'm just going to leave this here till he does. Did you educate him on the fact we've done no wrong, sir? You did. Can I get? Can you identify, please? He's gone in, and he has let them know that we're doing no wrong. I was asking for his number because I was actually going to um, give him some respect, man. Show him res some respect. Look at that. He's told him thumbs up. Thumbs up to West Midlands Police this time, today. It's a thumbs up for Warsaw Police. Um, he's just educated them on the fact that we're allowed to be here. So I guess there's not really much more to say, guys. Um, he didn't want to engage with me, though, did he? Um, I think it's because it's my local police and they uh, got a little bit of an idea of who I am and they all don't seem to like to be questioned very much. Um, But, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to finish it here. WHG. 
Warsaw Housing Group, 100 Hafferton Street. Guys, just a little one there. Until the next time, peace out.